Police running all in and out the building. What the hell is going on? Come on, Craig. Get up, Craig. What up, hello? Nation, shout out to everybody out there. We definitely have to talk about James Craig, the new offensive coordinator for the Las Vegas Raiders. But before we get into that, if you like the Raiders, definitely you do not want to miss out on this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, click the like button, and hey, say something in the comment section. Hey, we're definitely going to be talking about James Craig. Today, we're definitely going to be talking about Jay's Craig this evening, our new offensive coordinator. I think this is something, um, you know, I, who knows about Craig, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we definitely need to talk about Craig. But um, let's get into it. Let's let's talk about our new offensive coordinator, James Craig, where he came from. Let's talk about his work history. Let's talk about his work history. In 2000, oh, actually, 1997. He started in 1997 as a graduated assistant coach uh, for the Colorado State, okay? From 2000, uh, from, yeah, from 2000 to 2003, he became the D-line coach. So he came from offensive D-line, right, to uh, be a defensive line coach for the college Colgate, not, not, not the stuff you brush your teeth with that. That's a whole different kind of Colgate, but Colgate, the college. Okay. Um, 2004, 2006, he's the D line coach for Idaho. Okay. So he moves to Idaho and is their D line coach from 07 to 08. He becomes the assistant line coach um, for the, the best team. In the NFL, the at that time, the Oakland Raiders. Okay. Um, and in 2009, he becomes the offensive line coach for Tennessee, the college. And then in 2010 to 2013, he becomes the offensive line coach for USC. So, Trojans, y'all know what it is. Um, uh, fight on anyway. Um, 2020, 2014 to 2016, he continues as offensive line assistant for the Denver Broncos. Okay. 2017. Okay. He's the assistant offensive line coach for the Los Angeles Chargers, where Telesco was. In 2018. To 2020, he becomes the offensive line coach and running game coordinator for LSU. Okay. 2022 to 2023, he becomes the assistant line coach for the San Francisco 49ers. Okay. And then 2024, he returns and joins the best team. And I mean the best team in the NFL. And that's the Las Vegas Raiders. If you like the L Las Vegas Raiders, go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button. Some notable things that I, I want to, uh, things to note, things we need to note in regards to his work history. Um, 
to me that popped out to me was in 2007 when he became the 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 offensive line assistant for the Raiders. Okay, at that time, uh, the offensive line coach that he was in uh, under leadership was Tom Cable, and we know we know Tom Cable, um, who was the O line coach um, that ran um, the zone scheme. So they ran the zone scheme in 2007 uh, with the Raiders, um, and he was there. Also, not- also notably, um, he was a part of having the O line that protected for the quarterback from LSU, Jamarcus Russell. In 2010, he joined USC. Okay, under the head coach of Lane Kiffin, and Matt Barkley was also under center at USC. So there were some there's some correlations there. Lane Kiffin, um Lane Kiffin, you know, ended up being a coach for the Raiders. Um and then moving on to 2018 at LSU, where he was the offensive line coach, but he was there with Joe Burrow. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, and running backs Clyde Edwards Hilaire and Leonard Fournette. Okay. So he's had some connections with some some guys and moving even more into something that, that was notable for me. Uh and one of the reasons why um I'll, I'll I'll talk about my final thoughts after I after I explain this. But in 2022 to 2023, he was with the San Francisco 49ers. Well, Santa Clara. <laughs> but um under Kyle Shanahan, okay, he was also um the assistant offensive line coach. So Chris Forrester was the O-line coach, and Chris Chris Forrester, for those that don't know. He's actually really known for um, for what he does with O lines, uh, and actually, if you watch the San Francisco 49ers, um, they actually are pretty good um, on their offensive line um, with 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 who they have there, right? Um, which helped them actually be the top five in pass. Um, pass rank. So in in O line ranking in regards to gar- in regards to blocking in regards to a pass play, they were top five according to PFF. So you know some people say don't believe in PFF, but it's a good marker. Um whether whether you like whether you like PFF or not, you can say that hey they ranked high in, in pass blocking, which, to be honest with you, is something of, of us as Raiders is one of our downfalls. Our strongest suit is blocking in the run, but in the pass, not so much. So, um, and of course, we know that the San Francisco 49ers um, just recently uh, came off of being in the Super Bowl. Um, so obviously offensive line was a key and a factor as to why they were able to get to the Super Bowl. So my final thoughts in regards to um to James Craig is I think that it's a step forward into what we're trying to do here. Uh I know Coach Antonio Pierce wants to run the ball. But we definitely need to uh, shore up our offensive line. There's a lot of things that we need to um, need to fix, whether it's getting getting the players in here or it being a situation where the players that are here they just need to be coached up. Um, and definitely that is going to fall on 
James Craig. James Craig, uh, the reason why I decided to do this live and video is because I feel like this is going to be a very important piece for us moving forward as the team. I think I think the success of not just our offense, but the success of our team is really going to re rest on how well this offense actually produces. And I think James Craig is that guy to not only identify who needs to be in our offensive line room, but also um, what he can bring out out of those guys that he has in the room. I think also because the draft is coming up and free agency is coming up, I think he'll also have say in the guys that do come in for the awesome offensive line in which are going to join this room uh, to bol bolster up this, this needed offensive help on our offensive line. Personally, you guys have said, heard it from me multiple times, and I'll say it again, you know, out of, out of the five positions on our offensive line that are starting, I think there's only two guys that I feel like we should bring back, and that's Colton Miller and Dylan Parham. Outside of that, we can make some uh, adjustments there at center. We can make adjustments there at our right guard, and definitely we can make some adjustments or coach up whoever it is that we need over there at right tackle. But definitely let me know down in the comment section is your thoughts in regards to James Craig. It, was there some information that I brought out to you that you didn't know about? Or if there's anything that you want to add in regards to James Craig and possibly what he will bring over to the team. Make sure you guys click the like button. Why? Because I like you, okay? And if you like the Raiders, okay? I'm just going to say it like that. If you like the silver and black, you definitely want to click that subscribe button back. You get what I'm saying? So go ahead and click that subscribe button. Get, get it popping. Get it going. And like I always say, you're a blessing. Be a blessing to someone else. And let's go. Raiders. What up, love?